Hello friends, my name is Dr. Audhesh Singh and I am going to discuss a very important concept today which has been told to us by the sages, by the saints, by all wise men from the past, present and future in any part of the world that you should live in the present to enjoy your life, to succeed in life. And we all try to live in the present. But we are not successful in living in the present. Why? You will find that some people will say you go for meditation classes. Some people say you go for yoga classes. And we try all the tricks. But we fail. Why? So in order to explain that, let me tell you a small story. Now there was a woman who was not able to live in the present. And so he attended a course of meditation. She was regularly going for the meditation course. And even after working for several months, she was unable to focus on the present. Then one day the yoga instructor asked as to why you are not able to focus in the present even though you are coming from a long time. And why you are joining the meditation class when your mind is running somewhere else. Then she said that actually she has taken a loan, a huge loan for which she has to pay a huge EMI. And within the salary, she is finding it very difficult to pay that EMI. And therefore, she is constantly worried about that. And in order to avoid that worry, in order to avoid that uh, problem, she has joined that meditation course. So the teacher, yoga teacher advised her that please don't join the meditation course. Instead, go back and work for two hours extra so that you earn extra money and pay all the loans which you have taken. Once your loan has been taken care of, then your pain will automatically be taken care of, your worries will automatically be taken care of. And then even without doing any meditation, you will be able to live in the present. So friend, this is a very, very important lesson you should learn. That why we are not able to live in the present is because the time has three dimensions, past, present and future. Now all the three dimensions are connected with each other. What is present has become a past. And what is future has now becoming a present. All the three dimensions are connected with each other. And our mind is freely traveling in all the three directions. When we are in the present, we are attending a class and we find that the class is not interesting. Immediately our mind goes in the past or we start planning for the future. So all the three dimensions mind travel seamlessly and so if you are having any problem in the past or you are anticipating any problem in the future your mind cannot live in present so if you want to live in present you have to take care of the past as well as the future now the best way to take care of the past is to learn from it many people keep on hammering themselves keep on feeling guilty <clears throat> because they have done something wrong in the past. See, we all commit mistake. And there is absolutely no way we can ever change our past. And therefore, what we have to understand is that you, we must learn the lesson from the past and ensure that we don't commit those mistakes in the future. If you do this, then your worries from the past has gone. You have learned the lesson and the value of the past is over. Once you learn the lesson, then your future is also secured. Because every moment what we are doing is actually we are creating a new future. And therefore, once you have knowledge of the past, once we have the wisdom of the past, then you can project it in the future and you can create a better future for yourself. And then there should be no difficulty for you to live in the present moment. So I hope that you have understood that by meditation, by yoga, by doing any sort of exercise, there is no way you can live in the present. You can live in the present only by taking care of the past and only when you learn from the past, you can create a better future and once you create a better future, then you will be able to live in the present automatically. Then you will be able to enjoy everything which is happening, you will be able to focus on your studies, you will be able to concentrate on the friends, families and enjoy your life. So I hope that you have understood how you can live in the present and you can become more successful, more happy by following what I have said. Thank you very much for watching my video and I hope that you have liked this lesson. Please share your views and share this video to other people. Thank you very much.